The new B Builder is the fastest and most flexible page builder for WordPress. Simply drag, drop, and customize. What you see is what you get, live and instant. Let's jump in and show you all its features. To start building, edit an existing page or create a new one. Then click the Edit with B Builder button located at the top. Optionally, you can edit a page from the WordPress admin bar when browsing. Once it loads, you'll see that the screen is separated into two columns. The right column is the content creation area. Here you will build and have a live look at how the page looks like. The width of this area can be adjusted with a simple click and drag motion, like so. You can also click the icon in the middle to completely hide the left column and check your progress. As you can see, we're editing an already populated page. Hovering over various elements inside the builder will show bars with options that let you edit and modify the content. The green bar indicates that you're dealing with a section. Sections are the primary containers for wraps. Wraps are also containers like sections. The difference is that you can have multiple wraps inside a single section. Those have a gray bar and can contain numerous elements, which are depicted with a light blue bar. We'll cover more in-depth options of all the building blocks later. Now let's focus on the builder's interface. We can start with elements. Here you have a list of all of them. You can use the search bar up top or the category dropdown above it to narrow down the type of elements you want to use. If you fancy an element and use it very often, for example, an image or button, you can right-click it to add it to favorites. Those elements will always stay on top and you will not need to search for them each time. To remove them from favorites, follow the same procedure as adding. To insert an element onto the page, drag and drop it inside an existing wrap. Okay, next we have pre-built sections. You can quickly add complete sections with placeholder content onto your page. Use the category dropdown up top to browse through all pre-built sections. By default, inserted sections are placed on the bottom of the page. If you want to add a section in an exact spot, like the middle of a page or the top, hover over any existing section. Two round buttons with a plus icon will appear on the top and bottom. Clicking any of them will let you create a new section. Here you can directly insert any pre-built section. Okay, we can move on to the next option, Export Import. The long string of code you see here is the entire page content. To export this page to another one, 1. Copy this text, 2. Open a new page and change from Export to Import using the top drop-down menu. 3. Paste the string and hit Import. Now before we do that, we can also choose where the content should be inserted. Top, bottom, or completely replace the current content. There is also an option to import from templates if you have created any previously. Another great option is Single Page Import. It allows you to import any page from any pre-built website. Go to a pre-built website you like, copy the link of one of its pages, paste it in this field, and hit Import. Remember to choose if you want to insert the content before, after, or replace the current one. All right, great, the page is on our website. Now moving on through the left menu, we can see the navigator icon. If we click it, a new window will appear. You can drag it to move it around. This tool lets you quickly navigate through all of the sections and their contents. For example, if we click on a section tab, it will scroll to the corresponding section of the page. Clicking the drop-down icon will show you what is inside of it. You can also use the search field at the bottom. The next icon that we see will be, for many, a lifesaver. History allows users to restore their work. So, if you make a mistake and update the page, don't worry. You can always restore the previous version. You get four types of backup methods when building with the B Builder. The first one is Autosave. It will save your progress automatically once every five minutes. The next option from the dropdown is Update. 
This will create a backup each time you update the page. The third option is revision. You must manually click the Save Revision button to create a page backup. You can safely restore it anytime you want. The last option is Backup. This will create a backup each time you restore a revision. It is a great safety feature if you would restore the wrong one by mistake. To better explain how this works, we have to get back to that pre-built section we imported previously. So first, we'll show you how to edit it, and later use revisions to restore it. Now, as we said earlier, the primary container is the section. If you hover over it, a green bar will appear. From it, you can add a wrap or a divider. Click on the arrows icon and drag to move it. Use the pencil icon to edit the section options. Duplicate it to create a clone. Remove it with the trash icon. There's also an icon with three dots. If we click it, an additional menu will appear. With it, you can hide the section. It will still appear in your builder, but it will not be shown on the website. Move it up or down, if you do not want to drag it. Export the current section and import it above or below any section on any page. This means you can quickly export a single section to another page if you want to. Let's edit this section and change the background color. Click on the pencil icon. And as you can see, there are many options you can choose from. If you do not know what a particular option does, you can click the question mark icon to open a description. In most cases, you will also get a link leading to our documentation to get more in-depth knowledge. Okay, let's switch to the Advanced tab, where we can click on Background. The background could be a little darker, so it stands out. Okay, great. Now we can edit one of these boxes and swap the image with an icon. Let's also change the style. Okay, great! We'll also quickly remove other elements, and once we have one element left, we can duplicate it using the icon from the bar, or we can right-click on the element and copy, then right-click again to paste. We'll also change the icons in other boxes. We could make the title in this first element bold and change the text color to green. We don't need to do it individually to apply the styling to the rest of the elements. Instead, we can right-click on the first box, copy the style, and simply paste it. It's that simple! Now, please note that copying styles from one element to another works only with the same type of elements. Now, let's go back to our history. Here in the update list, we can see all the previous revisions that can be restored. Those were saved when we updated the page. So, let's check on a previous one to see how it works. As you can see, we have a previous state applied, so to go back, we can simply choose the newest revision. It's an excellent feature, and it could save you hours of work. The next icon allows you to adjust page options, like choosing a sidebar layout, setting a slider, changing the SEO settings, writing custom CSS, etc. Moving on, we see the builder settings, here, we can see a couple of mostly appearance options like UI mode or the navigation style. You can also see the introduction guide or a list of keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. The WordPress icon on the bottom is for returning to your WordPress admin area in the back end. The last panel of the options is at the very bottom. Here, we can enter the responsive preview mode to display and adjust the page for all devices. Next to it, there are undo and redo arrows. Those work the same as in any editor, so for example, if we remove this section, we can click the undo arrow and it will come back. Moving on, we can view the page in a new tab or use the preview function. Finally, the last item on our list is the publish or update button with the option to save as draft. It works the same as the default WordPress button. The new B Builder offers various options to speed up your building process and maximize your workflow. We'll keep working hard to bring you the best experience and help you create awesome websites. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.